hey beautiful bosses and welcome back to my channel today i wanted to go through showing you guys how i design banners for my clients website and i've already went ahead and saved everything into a folder that i'm going to be using today and we're just going to go ahead and get things started okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is i am going to change the background color of this after that is done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag and drop my background for the effect that I want. Okay, once that is there, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add a layer mask. And then I'm going to find my gradient tool and I'm going to hold for that effect. Once that is done, I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply and I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit. Alright, now that that is done, I'm going to move in and start adding in my glitter effects. This is going to be the banner for a website that I'm currently creating. I'm going to remove the stroke because we don't need that. Then we are going to go into the layers panel and we're going to do blending options and we're going to add a pattern overlay to this right here. And we're going to find the one that we want to use and we're going to scale to our liking. Right now, rather than having to recreate that whole entire effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control J and that's going to duplicate it for me. And then I'm going to be able to pull it down to where I need it to be. All right. So in the same breath while we're doing this, let me just go ahead and add my shop now button. I want to use this one. No, I don't want to use this one. I'm going to use... A round rectangle. There we go. Again, for this, I'm going to add a pattern overlay, but this time I'm going to add a regular gold effect as to balance out the design. And then we're going to scale to get that smooth gradient. So let's give it a drop shadow. I'm going to give it a stroke. And for the stroke, we're going to use pattern and we're going to use that glitter effect that we have there. Now we're going to scale to get the effect that we need. So. All right. Now that we have that, let's start bringing in our text. So the text is going to be, let's work with Elite Beauty. So we're going to say Elite. And we're going to make this in the blow brush font. So we're going to use the blue brush font. We're going to take it down a notch. So elite. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. And then we are going to add beauty. Beauty. Why? And we're going to change that font to Camille Yester script. That's a nice as a cursive font there about. Here we go. And we're going to bring that over here. For this one, I'm going to add a pattern overlay. So we're going to give it a drop shadow, then we're going to add a pattern overlay to it. 
and that's looking how I want it to look right now and to make this be a capital letter there we go and we're going to make that blow brush a little bit bigger so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our shop now button and we are going to resize this to fit where we want it to fit Right in there. Alright, so we're going to. What I want to do is, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Alright, and then now the final part is to actually bring in our model. The. Um, let's use this one. Okay. So, to remove background, I'm going to try this. Select object. Okay, and we are going to, we can go in a little bit and just remove all the jazz that you don't think you need. But for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to be too perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to add a layer mask and that would remove the background for me. So I'm going to put one right here. Then I'm going to duplicate Control J. I'm going to bring over this bad boy. I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply and I'm going to bring it below that one. And then we're going to adjust the opacity to how we want it to be. And then we just adjust accordingly. For this, let's add a drop shadow. Please be sure to name things properly in your layer mask. That way you can find stuff when you're looking for it easily. Um, let's see if a stroke could work. I want the stroke to be on the outside. And there you have it, a banner designed for a website. This is for a beauty hair extension website. And I will show you probably in the next video how I create websites on Wix for my clients. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And remember to turn on your notification bell so that you will not miss any more videos. Thank you guys again for watching. Bye.